So the car's radiator, here's the radiator. Curiously, it looks like a big box. But there's the amount of liquid it has. Right now, it has three quarts of liquid in it. And that liquid is 35% antifreeze. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some on top of that. We're going to add some antifreeze on top of that. That's going to mix in, but let's just consider adding on top. Um, how much do we add? Well, we don't know. So we're going to add X amount. And at the end, we want this whole thing to be 55% antifreeze. And so the basic equation that's happening here, the basic, the basic uh, you know, operating equation is this idea, that the old amount of something plus the additional amount equals the new amount, which is a pretty simple, straightforward problem, or a simple, straightforward equation. You know, if you have a certain number of apples, then you go grab more, then, you know, have 10 apples, and then I grab three more, then I have 13. I have a certain amount before. The old plus the additional equals the new. And let's look at each piece. The old amount, this is, this is describing how much antifreeze I have. That's the way we can figure this out. The old amount of antifreeze is right here. I have three quarts of 35%. So 35% of the three quarts is antifreeze. What's the, what's the thing we do with of? What's the mathematical equation or the mathematical thing we do? Multiplication, that's right. So we do 35% of 3 quarts. Then how much is the additional amount? Well, we just mark that as x. That's what we want to add. Then how do we figure out the new amount? How do we translate that? Here's the new amount right here. The new amount, we used to have 3 quarts. Now we have a little bit more. So what's the total amount of liquid we have? 3 plus x. That's right. So it's 3 plus x. And we want 55% of that. So it's 55% of the new amount has antifreeze. And then we can translate this to be 0 0.35 times 3 plus x equals 3 plus x, 0 0.55 times 0 0.55. And on page 100 of your book, um, at this point, then it's just algebra. You just solve for x. On page 101, you can see um, the step-by-step -step process to get down to the answer. So I won't repeat that. But basically, um, x equals 1.33 quarts. So you add 1.33 quarts. That's the answer to that one. So that's problem number 9 on page 101.